Good morning, everybody. This is Bill here at WWK Scale Plastic Models. Uh, on my last video, I showed just a little bit of this and said uh, this Dodge Viper by AMT and said that I was going to do a full video on it. Well, here it is. So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. This is the uh, kit for the AMT Dodge Viper GTS Coupe. It's uh, in 125th scale. Like they all are just about for these cars, and this is skill level two. And that's the front of it, the box art. Boy, I tell you what, that's a that's a pretty car, and it was a fast car. If I'm not mistaken, I think they made like uh they made some of these special and they made like 98 of them or something. They were all numbered. Uh I think they had them numbered on the dash like one of one and one of ninety-eight. Uh, I could be wrong there, but I, I, you know, I think that they come out with them and uh, they were specifically built for racing, you know, on tracks. So, but they were pretty fast. Let's go ahead and look at some of the other art on this box. Bring this up here and that's a side view of it. Yep, beautiful car. It, uh. Almost look like something, you know, something older. Something European made back in the 60s. Or... And here's uh, the model kit specifications right there. As you guys can see, boy, it had a big old engine in it. It was an OHV V10 aluminum block and heads, 488 cubic inches. And it was a six-speed manual. This kit right here, it's got, uh, it's got over 120 parts, okay? And... Uh, it's got your decals so that's the box art on it on the side let's check and see if there's any more uh, pretty much same thing on this side it's on the front here we go here's some more that's showing that uh, big old V10 engine So that's the box art. Let's go ahead and get to the parts on this, guys. I think that's a good-looking vehicle. I got that. That was a flea market find for me. Uh, my cousin found this one, brought this to me. It's uh, kind of nice. You know, my family, they all know I do this. So when they're out running around, they see something, they get it at the right price. I've told them all, just buy it, bring it to me, and I'll give you the money back. So, you know... Once, twice, three times a week, sometimes it's like Christmas for me. People bringing me models, so it's pretty cool. Let me lay that over here now. We're going to go ahead and start with the parts here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the chrome out of the way. It's just one, one piece of chrome here, guys. There it is right there. You can see them wheels. Looks like some side mirrors, things like that in there. Some nice looking wheels. Okay, let's grab another sprue here. Let's go ahead and do the clear parts now. It's all the glass in it. Nice and clean. This model was... Uh, was never open. Still had the shrink wrap on the back outside of it when they brought it to me. So there's all the uh, clear parts. Let's lay that back over here to the side, and then show you these tires. You had the front, you had the back, so here's the front. These are, uh, see if I can get them to focus in a little bit. They're not real soft, but they ain't real hard, you know. I mean, they're good looking tires. If I can weather them up a little bit. 
and there's four of them. Now the back's a little bit wider, as you can see, two backs. So that's the tires. Like I said, they're uh, they're not too soft. I mean, they got a little give to them, but let's lay them back over here. I think uh, here's some of the tail lights in red. Tail light covers. Right there, those are. And go. Let's go ahead and get to the parts now. We'll bring the body out for it. That's part of the body right there, guys. A lot of detail in it. Here's the hood. Such a sharp looking hood. That's that part. Now let's go ahead and get some of these sprues. Looks like it's got quite a few sprues here, guys. Looks like there's the seats and some of the doors and shifter there and some of the frame. Get up here and show you this a little bit closer. So a dash it goes in the middle. This was a two seater. That's that sprue. Go ahead and grab another one here. A lot of parts here. Take a little while to put this together. The guy's gonna do it right. So here's some of the body parts: uh, the back and the front. Looks like the fans for the motor right there. Radiator. This isn't wanting to focus in, is it? There we go, finally. That's that sprue. I don't need to tell you guys the parts on these car builders out there. You know the parts better than I do. <laughs> Y'all know what you're looking at. Here's another piece. I guess that's probably for the bottom of the trunk area or something. I don't know. Looks like it anyway. And then here we go. Let's grab another one here. Well, I can see the dash right there. If I bring that up closer, we're to kind of come in for you a little bit. It's a good looking dash. It's going to be nice when it's decked out. Stern wheel. Looks like some of the exhaust system. Uh, rims probably that goes with the wheels. Little caps.
Now let's go to another one here. There's quite a few. Got two more full sprues here, guys. There's all that. Looks like uh, there's the chassis part down there. Looks like some of the uh, the wheel wells there. Got one more sprue here, and that's it. Looks like it's going to be uh, for the engine. Some of the suspension and stuff, maybe. But uh, here's the engine, fellas, right here. See if I can get that to come in and focus a little bit better. Some of the valve covers, part of the exhaust, pulley system. Well, this thing's detailed. Part of the transmission there. closer on this motor here if I can and the transmission down there yeah it's gonna look good if I can ever get my health turned back around where I can start doing models you know it's, it's kind of hard to do with but I'm getting there I'm slowly, slowly doing some. It's uh, for me, it's a slow process. That's all right as long as I can get them done. And that's that sprue, guys. I believe that was all of them. I don't know how many there was. There's was like six sprues, and then you had the body and the chrome parts and clear plastic and the wheels. And I showed all that. Now let's get to uh, here's uh, the stripes. It's uh, on the decals. Looks like these are a pretty thin decal, too. There's the license plate. I don't know if I can get that to focus in or not. Yep. Viper. GTS. But that's the decal sheet right there. Them shouldn't be too hard to put on. I guess for me, when I build a model, that's the one thing I dread is decals, but I'm getting better at it after all these years. So that's a decal sheet, guys. Let's go ahead and we'll pull a, some of the paperwork here. Uh, Dodge Viber GTS Coupe made by AMT. It's stock number 8055, guys. So... That's the kit number, 8055. It's got a little bit of our work here. It says Kirk Barron. I guess that's who do th did that. Looks good. Open the sheet up. It tells you a little bit about it down here. So, it's pretty neat information on it there. I hadn't read that yet. Let's open this up. There we go. It uh, shows you the decal application. Where you put the decals. Guess a guy could uh, do whatever color he wanted to with it, but...
And that's that. Then the back of it just tells you a little about what your recommended tools, you know. Tells you the old hobby knife, tweezers, and a brush. And then it gives you some building tips for advanced modelers. That's that little sheet. Let's lay that over there. And then here's the... Uh, Here's the instruction, guys. It's a fold-out. I don't know if I'm catching all this. I'm going to raise this just a little bit. There's the engine assembly. Then they have the sub-assembly. So that's sub-assembly 1. And then sub-assembly 2. Then there's sub-assembly three. This is just for the engine, guys. And then the final assembly. Then you open this up. It trifolds out like three times. So, you all know how this works. I'm just going to show a little bit of it here. There's the chassis assembly. It looks like it's got a sub-assembly two, three, and four there. There's uh, sub-assembly number one, chassis assembly continued. Right there, looks like it's putting the engine in and the wheel well, stuff like that. And right there is the uh, your detail painting for the interior, dash and all that kind of stuff. That's your interior final assembly. It's hard to hold this, guys, and show all this. There's a lot here. Flip her over here. And now it's going to the wheel assembly. Does your front left, your front right, your rear left, rear right. Then your body assembly right there, guys. Still doing the body assembly there, sub-assembly number three. Putting the final touches on it here. And that's it. As you can see, it's a big old fold-out sheet of instructions here. Let me get this thing folded back up. Get her put over here to the side. And uh, so that was it, guys. I think I covered everything. For this AMT, lower that back down a little bit, the Dodge Viper GTS Coupe. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and call this video over with. Uh, I appreciate all of you watching it. Uh, and if you would, would you uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. And maybe if you'd like to, subscribe to my channel. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off and... Uh, Thanks for watching, fellas. Appreciate it. Uh, God bless all of you. You know, take care, and uh, I'll see you at the next video. So we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.